Hello, I am Miyuki, and I am going to show you today how to apply my Umbreon Mod Kit mod for the Red Remora Fennec. So first you're going to want to be wearing the avatar, um, don't mind the multicolored tail. And then you're just, this first part is going to be very easy, I'm sure you probably already know how to do this. Just go to the, I did not set this folder up right, ignore that. You're just going to open up the pliers, which will be uh, combined in a folder for you. Uh, right now I haven't had it all set up. I just wanted to show you how to make it so that when you wear it you have glowing rings. So first thing you're going to want to do is wear the one labeled Umbreon Fennec Applier. So you're going to put that on and that's going to apply the skin. It's also going to apply an eye texture and an eye lens texture as well. If you decide that you don't want to use those then you can always go back to the default eyes through the base mod kit. Um, I just feel they add a nice touch to the overall mod. Now, as you can see, the rings are not glowing. And if I were to try and make them glow, it would not work out well. So, in order to get it so only the wings bleh, rings glow, I'm going to need to make some modifications to it, which will include wearing a second body. So I'm going to show you now what to do. So first you're going to want to go down here and you're going to want to take this which is the Fennec Avatar body or the Fennec Fox Avatar and you're going to res it on the ground. From here you're going to edit it. You're going to choose edit linked parts and you're going to select the whiskers, the eyes, and the eyelids. Once you have them all selected, you want to do unlink. And then you just delete those extra parts. You don't need them. Now you're going to be left with the body, which you're going to pick up and take back. Now you're going to want to take the tail, make and copy and paste the tail. Now that you have that part done, this next part should be pretty easy. What you're going to want to do is go to your body and your tail and take them off. Then wear these two. Now you're going to want to go back to your folder and wear the rings. Now you're going to notice this looks a little strange and when I was first trying to figure out how to do this I um, was a little surprised by this, but this is a very easy problem to fix. What you're going to want to do is go to, eh, that was my cat, just ignore her. You're going to want to right click edit here, go to texture. Now over here under alpha mode, which you'll see under the texture option, you're going to want to go to alpha blending. You're going to want to do the same thing for the tail. Now you notice that you're still not glowing. That's real easy. You just want to go right here and add some glow. You can add as much or as little as you'd like. I, you know, you could have just a subtle glow if you'd like, you know, nothing too big. And now you're glowing. So you just go back to the other body parts and wear them. And that's how you make it glow. And that's really all there is to it. You can go ahead and tint the whiskers if you'd like, or make them vanish altogether if you'd rather not have them there. But that's really all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial, and I hope that it'll help you get the most out of your new avatar. Oh, I'll go look for the eyelids to load. And I hope that you enjoy running around as a cute little Umbreon. It happens to be one of my favorite Pokemon, so I'm glad I was able to figure out how to make the rings glow. And the nice part about this is that you can always just take them off if you decide you don't want to glow. Um, and just ignore the broken tail. It'll fix itself eventually. Alright, thank you very much and I hope you guys enjoy the new mod. Have a good day. Bye.